Okay, it was a 6-1 vote and board member Dr. Chris Cove is, is opposed. Thank you. At Tuesday night's meeting, the JCPS board voted to require all employees to get vaccinated or get regularly tested as a condition of their employment. Only a single board member voiced opposition. But I think we should just keep it simple and require, require the vaccination without options uh, of testing. But Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio acknowledged some staff members would quit if they mandated the vaccine. And the district is already facing staffing shortages from bus drivers to substitute teachers. It's a situation made even worse by COVID cases, quarantines, and exposures. We also have a lot of teachers covering um, sub shortages on their planning periods and things like that. So uh, I don't think we're going to lose the teachers off of this. I think there are other stressful things that are going to cause teachers to quit, but probably not this. In fact, Emily McKiernan Blanton with the Jefferson County Teachers Association says most teachers seem to be in favor of the new testing mandate. District-wide, JCPS has about 16,000 employees. We know early on about 12,000 signed up to be vaccinated at Broadbent Arena, but just how many followed through with those appointments or were vaccinated elsewhere and at a later date? JCPS says they don't have those numbers, and in fact, they really won't know where they stand until this time next month when proof of vaccination or a negative test is required. And getting tested will be even easier for employees as the district adds more sites. We will expand to bus compounds and other places necessary. Um, so every employee will have access to a test at their work site every single week. According to the Teachers Association, efforts like that make the new policy a little easier to handle. We do have some teachers that don't want to get the vaccine for whatever reason. And when I explain all the testing options, they're okay with that. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.